There it is. Oh, that's a pig. That is a fucking pig. Oh my god. Holy shit. That's all it was, guys. A change of color. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, guys, the thing that we've been waiting for this whole series is to stock this pond up. And uh, we're going to catch out of one pond and put in the other. I had to come back because there were so many golfers here that day. Not like today's any better, but we're going to go ahead and try it out anyway. Hopefully, we can stock this pond up. It's been doing much better now. We've been catching a lot more out of that pond now. All right, guys, we will be continuing with the Guggen baits. We got the swim jig on there now. Let's see how we do. This spot right here, I always bang them out, but the other day when I was here, I couldn't catch any to stick in this pond. Got one. Yeah, it feels good. We got one. Let's stock this guy up. Let's stock this other puddle up, guys. Oh, yeah, he's running. Wow. He seems pretty big, and he's all, we're all tied up to something. Oh, yeah. That's a good fish. How are we going to get this thing? Is a whole, whole adventure to get this fish out of here. Where is he? I can't see him. He's stuck. You gotta release him. I think he fell. Oh my God. We got him loose. We get him loose. Oh my God. Guys, he's caught up in all in that rocks right there. Hope we don't lose him trying to get him out of here. Let's let some line out. Maybe he can let himself out of those rocks. Oh, we broke off. Wow, guys, we just broke off. I had one on. He wasn't huge. He was probably about a two pounder. All right, guys, the third swim bait that we're going to be throwing is the Saucy Swimmer. And uh, these are 3.8 inches. And uh, yeah, man, I really feel like these are going to do really well, especially this time of year. Uh, I got a little underbelly spin on there. And we're going to toss this guy out and see how we do. Since we just lost that one on the Guggen jig, we're going to go ahead and toss this guy out. Let's see if we can stock this little puddle up, man. That'd be awesome. Let's throw a couple more cast out with this guy. Then we'll toss out the crankbait. And uh, if we don't catch, I don't think we're stocking any pond today, unfortunately. All right, guys, we're gonna go back to our uh, crankbait and see if we can catch a couple out of there. Guys, I really wanted this last episode of this series to be of me stocking this pond. This is my second day out here, and I have not caught anything in that little spot where it's easy for me to transfer from pond to pond. So uh, we're going to go ahead and try this puddle out, which I love. And I like to stock this up as much as I can, just so when I come, I get to fish it, and I don't get hassled when I fish this little pond. So I always, every time I catch fish in this location, I always take it from one pond and release it into this pond. So we're going to continue with the Saucy Swimmer. Let's go ahead and toss that out and see how we do. All right, guys, so unfortunately, we were unsuccessful stocking this little puddle today. The pond right next to it, I just couldn't catch any. And uh, that's it, man. So we're going to continue fishing and see if we can catch a couple more. And uh, we'll go from there. Been in closets with pillows and blankets, but they boys slept on my sheet. I done gave everything to the best. It just get lonely and the stress. No, I'm a hold a rice in my hand. Might just go turn her eyes to a fan. Yeah. Necessity never no greed. Got him. Got him. 
be switch on me Oh, it's gonna get a bit stormy I know it's all on me Yeah, yeah Baby, I feel like it's better than time But it's time on a pad again I got a stack This guy's hooked all kinds of ways I gotta get it now All of the family gonna eat when I get on my feet Well, guys there's the first one of today little guy about a pound and a half not too big but just like that by switching our baits makes a world of difference um but we're gonna let this guy go let him get bigger and i guarantee this is one of the fish that i released in here i'm hoping at least <laughs> let's throw two more casts and then we'll go down to the other pond Hopefully we get to slay our nine pounder over there. All right guys, so it turns out that we will not be stocking this pond here. So let's go ahead, let's go move down to the other parts of this pond and let's go slay that nine pounder that we dreamed about. You ain't know me bro, it's been years. We bout to be on, that's where they feel. When I drop down, mama shed tears. I just been planning on the next year. Collect that paper like a cashier. I said what I want, didn't enough. Look at that guys. Looks like someone was here fishing my honey hole. And uh, looks like they were fishing for carp. I've never seen a carp in here. So I don't know if there's carp or not in here. I don't think there is. But uh, if there is, I've never seen it. So let's continue throwing this crankbait, guys. I think we're going to stay committed to the crankbait. Guys, it's been a straight up grind today. Let's go see if we can go move down and catch one down at the end of this pocket. But I think we just need a color change, man. That's all I think it is. So let's change our color and see how we do. There's another banger from the Guggen Baits. I forgot what the name of this color actually is, but I'll leave the link in the description below so you guys can check one out. The bangers are awesome. Once again, favorite part is the eye. Look at that eye. Beautiful eye beautiful colors the red might help this water is a lot more murkier maybe that's what it needed just a change of color so that's why i decided to go ahead and throw something red on i think our biggest issue here is just because the water is so high and usually when this water is high here dude i don't slam as good as i usually do so hopefully the red crankbait should help a little bit there it is oh that's a pig that is a fucking pig oh my god holy shit that's all it was guys a change of color oh my god oh he's hooked all kinds of ways this guy's a monster oh my god Oh my god. Guys, we slayed another monster. Oh my god. Guys, look at the size of this pig. Holy shit, this guy's gotta be seven pounds. Let's bust out the scale. Alright. Guys, to be honest with you. I think the scale is way off it's saying 5.6 5.7 no way dude this is a seven pounder all day this scale is way off dude 5.7 no shot dude no shot guys my scale is saying that this is a six pounder no way this is seven and a half maybe eight pounds this is straight hog dude outdoor junkie style boy cracking them on this big monster look at that boy that's how we do it if you guys are not subscribed yet what are you guys waiting for for real just hit that red button real quick no idea about a bit is where I went from we can see you later buddy oh my god oh my god guys while you staring you can see wow. all these steps let's go move down to our last destination then we got a boogie all right guys you know I always hit this spot on my way out and I always catch a monster right in here Let's see if there's one in there. There it is. It took it. We got it. Look at that. That was easy breezy. I think there was two of them there. There's always one chill in there. Oh 
Oh no, I left my pliers, I think. <laughs> There's another one, guys. Two and a half pounder all day. Yes, sir. That's always an awesome spot right there. <clears throat> all right. What is up, guys? Just getting back to you after an awesome, awesome day of fishing. Uh, I, this was a three-part series that I hoped you guys enjoyed. If you guys did enjoy these series, let me know. I'll keep making them. I actually came back to make the third part of this series just because um, I couldn't catch any fish to stock that other pond with. And today I came back. Really, my goal was to do that and uh, just no bites. I wasn't getting bites. And I have to fish the pond right next to it, A, so I don't look so suspicious. And uh, two, really, that spot I catch a lot of bass in. I was hoping to catch them, pick them up, toss them in the other pond, and fill that bad boy up. But as I continue to fish here, I will always release my bass into that little puddle so I can come back and catch them when they're a lot bigger. When the water is this high, usually this spot here in particular especially, the, the fishing dies down drastically. It was pretty high the last time I was out here when I was making the first and second part of the series. This series for me was awesome just because, uh, like I said in the beginning of the video, I had a dream of catching a nine pound bass out of this pond. So I said, you know what, let's go ahead and try to make my dreams come true. Now we didn't catch a nine pounder we were hoping on, but we definitely did catch a seven and a half to eight pounder. That's what I think my scale was saying, almost six pounds, but I don't know, this is the second or third time I felt personally that that scale was way off. For me, it was pretty awesome. I, I got to come out here and catch monsters and uh, really give you guys some awesome content of some big hogs. Now, wait till spawn season hits, man. I know right now that they are kind of pre-spawning right now. I have seen a few on beds, but uh, I know by probably the end of this month, the beginning of next month, uh, those spawning is going to be awesome. These bass are going to double up in size, and I know I will be catching a 10-pounder out of here. And if you guys are new to this channel, guys, go ahead and do me a favor. Do yourself a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Definitely hit that notification bell, guys. I upload videos every single Friday. I appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me. We're up to 550 subscribers. Some of you guys who are YouTubers yourself understand how hard it is to get 500 subscribers. Man, it's been a mission. I think now we've had this channel for about seven to eight months. We have been growing pretty rapidly. I do have an idea to do a video on how to start a YouTube channel. If you guys wanna know how to start a YouTube channel, all you guys gotta do is comment below and let me know you guys wanna see that video. I'll sit down and I'll give you guys the one-on-one -on -one how to start your YouTube channel. We can go through all the cool stuff like cameras, what I'm using, um, and getting into the analytics of YouTube itself, using keywords and stuff like that, you know. We can really get into some detail. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. See you guys on the next one. No idea Dude. about the beat is where I went from. We can scroll up just to finish up the next one. By my business, we ain't talking less about growing. While you staring, you can see.